What's up guys? Today we're going to go over some basic hoof anatomy. So when I'm explaining in my videos, um, that some of this hopefully correlates and makes some sense. So equine foot. So starting on the outside, working our way in, we've got the wall, the hoof wall. There's a few layers worth of hoof wall on the outside. There's a middle and then there's a very inside to inside edge. But as a whole, those three layers make up your basic hoof wall. You go one step further in. This is called your white line which is actually kind of funny and kind of contradictory sometimes because it's yellow as you can see right here on this foot. This right here is the bond between the bone inside and the hoof capsule itself. This is considered an insensitive structure. The wall and the white line are considered an insensitive structure. To come inboard of it is the sole. This is all this right here. This is a sensitive structure of the horse. So there's a very fine line of the white line, wall, and the sole. Inside's bad. Outside's fine. That's why what you get is like a hot nail or something is when it's inside this lamina. So the white line, lamina, two different terms for it. Sole, pretty much is sole. That's all they call it. Then we go into the frog. This is your triangle piece right here in the middle. These gaps right here on the sides are called your commissures. And then in the center, this is called your center, central sulcus of your frog. Simple basic terms on the front, you've got toe, or I'll refer to it as dorsal wall, your dorsal structure, and then obviously your heels, your white line will come in and it makes these little, these, there's a continuous inboard right here, these are considered your bars, this is your buttress of the heel right here where these dark spots, dark spots are. So basic terminology of the foot, hopefully that'll help clear some stuff up on some of the other videos when I'm going about my evaluation of feet.